Brian Hill of USWG Alternative News. I am asking you to protest Stevens Incorporated. As it turns out, Stevens Incorporated is not just in Little Rock, Arkansas. It turns out they're at Winston-Salem, North Carolina, St. Petersburg, Florida, uh, Texarkana, Texas, Washington, D.C., Rogers, Arizona, New York, New York, Nashville, Jonesboro, Arizona, London, UK, Memphis, Tennessee, Jackson, uh, Missouri, I think it's Missouri or something like that, uh, Houston, Texas, Hot Spring, Arizona, Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, and many more. Which means that anybody who lives around any of Stevens Incorporated locations and offices can join this protest to peacefully and lawfully protest Stevens Incorporated. Now you're probably wondering why. Even though the Right Haven lawsuit is over with me, uh, the RIAA, an organization that's infamous for suing bloggers, I, I, I mean, I mean file sharers, is now looks like they're it's being a minute in tech dirt that they're thinking about working with right even if this happens we're going to see a major war on bloggers they're going to go to war with the 9-11 truth movement for using copyrighted snippets of 9-11 uh, footage they're going to go after uh they're probably going to try to go after me again once they work with the record company and then, it, basically the very people that argue, oh, we need to go after pirates and file sharers, they're going to use this to go after every alternative media outlet. They're going to go after Federal Jack. They're going to go after Alternet. They're going to go after, basically, uh, Infowars Ireland. They're going to go after JC and Love. If we aren't careful, they're going to go after all of us. And we know that since Alex Jones had settled with Right Haven, He's not going to be able to join this fight because uh, he's basically under their dic dic dictation, under their control. But not me. Stevens Media didn't make me settle with them in court so I can fight them. Because this is real important. I mean, uh, according to the 1993 New York Times article, I'm going to quote, and I quote, And for decades, he... Jackson T. Steffens has maintained close ties to presidential administrations of both political parties. New York Times 1993 article on Fed Inquiry. This is dangerous. These are one of the people that are, that are basically as close to the Bilderberg group as you can get. They may not be Bilderberg attendees, but they are a financial backer of people that are Bilderbergers. These people are dangerous and they want to sue us all. The record company wants to work with them. This is dangerous. This is a dangerous president. We have to fight back. We got to protest Stevens Incorporated. Now, I do have a few guidelines. You got to be peaceful. You got to respect their property. Uh, be respectful to the police. Uh, do not break the law. Please, please. Uh, make sure everything is lawful. Other than that... Please protest peacefully. Protest against Stevens Incorporated. Go to Little Rock, Arkansas and protest Stevens Incorporated so that the record company does not work with them. And you should also protest at the RIA as well, saying that they should not target bloggers and their freedom of speech and their freedom of the press. Because this is what they were planning. That's why they were suing file sharers back in the 2000s. When they were going after Kaza. This was pre-planned. They were planning this to go after bloggers. That's why they were targeting file sharers. This wasn't really about protecting their copyrights. This is about targeting the alternative media. This is about targeting uh, anyone who's a part of the 9-11 truth movement. That relies on copyrighted uh, footage to expose the truth about 9-11. This is about going after anyone who dares question the establishment. They are not small fry. They are not just some evil corporation. These people are basically behind financing both sides of the political spectrum, both Democrat and Republican. 
These people are part of the establishment. Stevens Incorporated are the establishment. They are a part of the Bilderbergers. They are the financiers of the Clintons and the Bushes and are likely financiers of the Obamas. These people are part of this controlled corporate corruption. These people are part of the bankers. It even admits on the Las Vegas Sun, Steve Green admits that he is an international investment banker. He is a part of the Bilderbergs. Even if he's not an attendee, he's basically the financier that's helping these people and the elite. We have to protest them right now. Otherwise, they're going to have the RIA come after every blogger on the internet, including Federal Jack, Infowars, and they'll be going after USWGO and trying to seize our domains. And if they're not, if we're not careful, more and more lawsuits are coming for us. We have to fight back now. We got to protest before they further abuse the Copyright Act for their own self-purposes of power and control, and money manipulation of politics. 